Well, tonight, CBS 46 is advocating also getting results for DeKalb County drivers. That's right. For weeks, a massive, I mean massive pothole on Kelly Chapel Drive was really a pit of nightmares. CBS 46 reporter Bill Bethy Yates spent the day finding a solution for residents and drivers. CBS 46 has been advocating for residents and just days after we got involved, we got DeKalb County to place this metal plate right here over the gaping pothole that has damaged multiple cars. It's not a pothole, I call it a death trap. DeKalb County resident Tracy Rhodes showed CBS 46 the gaping hole she says is responsible for the thousands in damages to her car. It ended up tearing up the front axle of my right tire, bending the frame, bending the rim, busting the tire. And Rhodes isn't the only one who became victim to the massive hole. Hubcaps now litter the street. All of a sudden we heard a loud noise like, like I had actually hit something, like I had hit a deer or I had hit something middle of the road that caused damage. Brown and Rhodes are among at least 10 people whose cars were damaged by the gaping hole on Kelly Chapel Road in Decatur. It was full of water, so it looked like it was like it was even paved, like it was OK. But it wasn't OK, and the county had been getting complaint after complaint about the hole and the damages it has caused. I called 911, come to find out DeKalb County knew about this and had a uh, had been having calls with it for about two weeks and hadn't done anything about it. So CBS 46 began advocating and the county placed a metal plate over the hole just days after we reached out. They also sent us this statement. The Cab County has mobilized crews to temporarily fill the pothole. The statement went on to say potholes cannot be repaired during inclement weather and six crews are on standby to make permanent repairs when weather permits. It's a Band-Aid, you know, and Band-Aids wear off. It's not fair to taxpayers in South DeKalb County where we have to come down here and damage our cars driving home. We also asked the county if they will be reimbursing any residents for their damages. So far, they have not answered that question, but CBS 46 will continue to advocate. Bobette Yates, CBS 46 News.